everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do the what's in my bag video so stay tuned to see what I end up carrying around with me every day because I need to clean up my bag so I thought I'd shoot the video at the same time so this is the bag that I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis as you can see it's bigger than my head so it's really big um, I got it from H&M in the fall when I was trying to be more professional more productive just attempting to look more put together. So this is the bag that I picked up. It's from H&M. So I think it was about $40 Canadian, give or take. It has these two straps on the top, like a normal bag does. It has a detachable shoulder strap, which I pretty much use all the time. It has a big section on the inside, as well as two little pockets at the front and a zipper pocket at the back. And yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of my bag. For starters, in one of the little pockets, I have my bus pass because I could walk to work, but I'm lazy. Um, inside that would normally go my keys. However, they're hanging up because I'm at home. Next, in the back pocket, uh, the zippered one, I have a phone charger because my phone's old and likes to die. Then I have um, this letter about my rent review that uh, to remind me to call them, which can come out because I've already taken care of that. See, this is why I need to clean my bag. Then I have my wallet. It's just a little wallet that I got from uh, Eco Equitable, which is a sewing store here. It's made of recycled canvas. And I just have my debit card, my health card, air miles. What else is in here? A David's Tea card, my Canadian Tire Points card, my Sephora card. It's kind of it. Just a basic everyday wallet that I need. Then, let's see. Ooh, I have the Urban Decay Persuasion Mascara. Uh, you can't see that, but I love this mascara. I use it every day. The reason this is in my bag is because I'll do my foundation I guess at home and then I'll put this on at work if I'm feeling like I just want a little bit of extra pizzazz that morning and then I have my Burt's Bees replenishing lip gloss and I like this one because it has a tint to it so I can look like I'm wearing makeup or at least lipstick when I don't next I have some change and that needs to come out then I have a bobby pin that has a little crystal on it because I think it's really cute and this way I can use it to pin back my hair. Um, oh, I have more of those. And then I have nail clippers because the number one thing you should know about me, broken nails drive me insane. They do. They really, really do. Let's see. Then I have, um, this is just a sample tube I got, like a sample container I got from Lush, but in here I keep refle replenishing the helping hands because I find that it works the best with my dry cracked hands, so I always have to have moisturizer with me. And yeah. Alright, so next in the main compartment of my bag I have my current book, book which is Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Caitlin Doherty. She is a YouTuber. I will link her down below. Uh, she is a mortician and this is about her first year in the death industry as well as some history about her. So it's very interesting and I love it. It is a library book so I definitely have to return it. Uh, but that's okay because I love it. Um, I normally have a comic book in here as well but I don't have one in here now because I pulled it out to show someone earlier so I just never put it back. Uh, next in here I have a letter from my boss to my rental agency to hopefully get my rent fixed. Story on that coming later because it's hilarious. This is one of those situations where I either laugh or cry. So I'm choosing to laugh. So I have this. I have to take this out and make sure I send it in. Um, next I have my hair clips. I have just a single clip and then hair ties. I keep them on a carabiner so I don't lose them. This way, they don't disappear into the endless abyss where things just disappear and I have no idea where they go. 
let's see here. Next, I have a lemon because I was feeling a little sick on Friday. And so I brought the lemon because lemon water makes me feel better. So I have a lemon that can go back in my fridge. I have my hat because it's still winter in Canada. Therefore, there are times that I don't need this. And then there's times that I do need this. So this is always in my bag. Unless it's summer. At which point I'm cheering. <laughs> Let's see here. Next, I have my feminine product pouch. In here, there's also Advil. Because if you've ever been in a situation where you need painkillers and you don't have them, you will start carrying around Advil. And I have a tendency to suffer from migraines every once in a while, so Advil is definitely necessary. So this is my feminine hygiene pouch. A receipt for a movie I bought. A envelope that I was supposed to bring back to work because um, my boss really likes to recycle. And I have like 500 of these, so I just bring them back because they're the easy peel-off uh, version of, ste of sealing envelopes. So these are very helpful when closing at night. So I like to bring them back so that we have more. Um, a library fees are changing bookmark. Let's see here. I have socks because I always have these with me because I... I cannot go without socks in my shoes. It drives me absolutely bonkers. So what I do is I carry an extra pair of socks with me so that therefore I will never have to go through that because I think that's that's just the number one no, no. I will always wear socks at work. I just, I can't, no. So I have socks, especially they come in handy in the summer because I will forget them a lot. Next I have subway receipt, some more receipts. Ooh, another hair clip. And then I have this little leaf is from Starbucks. Uh, I think there's another one in here too. And I think these are the prettiest thing on the planet. Um, and because of that, I used to keep them in my Starbucks apron to help as just kind of a touchstone to help calm me down. And on my last day of Starbucks, I just threw them in here. So I like to, I might do something with these. I haven't decided, but I just think these are super cute. Like, look at this. Isn't this adorable? It's so pretty. And each leaf is unique, so you'll never find another one like this. This one's mine. It's so cute. Let's see. Ooh, a dog food pouch. This is the Waruva Dogs in the Kitchen Fowl Ball. This is, I picked up same um, canned dog food for Sage, but I couldn't afford the canned dog food, so I just bought a little pouch. So this is one of the ones I picked up that stayed in my bag. So this needs to come out. And I'm going to put this in a different spot or Sage will eat it. I have gloves because same with the hat. It's cold. And I never know when I'm going to need these. Let's see. What else do I have? Ooh, more receipts. This is why I have to clean up my bag, guys. I have a Canada pin. That should be on my vest, so I'm going to have to remember to put that on my vest when I go in next. Um, a receipt from a return that I did. H&M has an amazing return policy, by the way. Um, a tree pin. This I'm going to have to remember to put on my vest uh, when I get to work as well. This I used to wear all the time at Starbucks because I just thought it was super cute. So I'm going to have to put it back on. Let's see here. And then next is this bag. Um, because of various different reasons, I always like to carry a extra pair of pants and underwear. Just because you never know when it will come in handy. So I just simply keep it in here. So if for whatever reason I get sick or uh, one of my various issues acts up, I have that. So that's it. My bag is now empty. So I just repacked my bag with all the stuff that I need to put back in here and left out all the extra stuff that shouldn't be in my bag in the first place. There are some 
differences for summer and winter. For example, in winter, um, I have the hat and the gloves, and in summer, I have sunscreen. Um, the number one thing I carry with me, no matter what, is sunglasses. However, normally when I'm going to work, I'm wearing them, so that's why they're not in my bag, Is but they still always have them with me. Same with my keys. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. Me and Sage are at KB Wolf, and she is here supporting me in her silent way, as always. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.